Um, I'm preaching from the book of Proverbs. <coughs> there was a <coughs> fairly moving kind of DVD about uh, the father with his son, wasn't it? I sat there all getting all choked up. <coughs> uh, uh, that story. Um, <coughs> this morning, or uh, well, last week, I started um, teaching a new series from the book of Proverbs. And um, uh, I've actually got the New Living Bible that I'm going to be reading from this morning because I find the book of Proverbs comes a bit more alive when I'm reading from the New Living Bible or even from the old Amplified Bible. It's a great Bible to use with the book of Proverbs. And I'm going to talk about wisdom this morning because uh, the first eight chapters of the book of Proverbs talks a lot about getting wisdom, get wisdom. So I'm going to read from verse, uh, chapter 2 and um, verse 1. It says, My son, listen to me and treasure my instructions. Tune your ears to wisdom and concentrate on understanding. Cry out for insight and understanding. Search for them as you would for lost money or hidden treasure. Then you will understand what it means to fear the Lord and you will gain knowledge of God. For the Lord grants wisdom. From his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. He grants a treasure of good sense to the godly. He is their shield protecting those who walk with integrity. He guards the paths of justice and protects those who are faithful to him. Then you will understand what is right, just and fair. And you will know how to find the right course of action every time. For wisdom will enter your heart and knowledge will fill you with joy. Wise planning will watch over you. Understanding will keep you safe. Wisdom will save you from evil people, from those whose speech is corrupt, those people who turn from right ways to walk down dark and evil paths. They rejoice in doing wrong and they enjoy evil as it turns things upside down. What they do is crooked and their ways are wrong. Amen. Wisdom. Uh, if God appeared to you tonight and he asked you the question, what do you want from me? What would you ask God? You know, the latest lottery ticket, you know, that wins the lottery. Oh, very tempting, wouldn't it? What would you ask for God if he asked you, what do you want tonight from me? Well, that's what he did. He asked someone in the Bible that question, what do you want from me? And God was thrilled when Solomon said to God, I want wisdom. I want wisdom to be able to rule the nation of Israel rightly. And God was thrilled by that. And so God said, not only will I give you wisdom and understanding, I'm going to give you the whole, you know, the whole bucketful, you know, uh, wealth and riches and honor. He gave him the whole lot, you know, because God was so thrilled that uh, Solomon would ask for wisdom. Well, why is wisdom so important? Because wisdom will guide you through life and help you make the right decisions in life. That's why wisdom is so important. And the book of Proverbs talks um, a lot about wisdom. I mean, it gives us all these hundreds of little sayings about the way of the wise as to compared with the ways of fools. And it does co that comparison, you know, the way of the wise and the way of the fools. And it talks a lot about um, uh, uh, a lot of different areas in terms of our lifestyle and how we work out our lives and things like um, growing up, parenting, social justice, wise speech, work, marriage, sexuality, money. You know, all of these many things in life, God gives you all these little sayings that are wise sayings to help guide us. God wants us to be wise so that we make decisions in life that are the right decisions. Because wrong decisions end up making a mess of our lives. And some of you have been there, done that. You, you've walked down your own ways and your own paths and you've spent so much of your life trying to uh, mop up the messes in your life because you've made so many wrong decisions as you've gone through life. And uh, you look back in your life and you think, man, I, just, I don't want to go back there leading my own, guiding my own way. I want to 
find out God's ways and be wise in terms of making the right decisions in my life. And we want to learn wisdom. Not only want to learn wisdom for our own lives, we want to learn wisdom so that we can pass it on to our kids and they can pass it on to their kids and they can pass it on to their kids. You know, we want wisdom in our families as well. So how do we get wisdom? Well, first of all, you ask for it. You cry out for it. You search for it. Yeah, there's a hunger in your heart that you, that you want to be someone who's wise in the ways of God and the ways in which you're to walk. Proverbs 2.2 2 says, um, search, to search for wisdom as you would for hidden treasure. <laughs> search for wisdom as you would to go and get a lottery ticket, you know, or get the right lottery ticket. You know, search for it. Don't just be passive about uh, wisdom or understanding of God's ways, but search for it with all your heart. Proverbs 8.10, choose my instruction rather than silver. Choose my knowledge rather than pure gold. For wisdom is far more valuable than rubies. James says, James 1.5, if you need wisdom, if you want to know what God wants you to do, ask for it. Get on your knees and ask God and cry out to him, God give me wisdom in this situation. When Solomon asked God for wisdom, God granted his request and gave him a whole lot more. And one of the things that God's looking for you in your life, in your heart, is that you come and depend on him for everyday things in life and ask God's direction and guidance and wisdom and understanding so that you don't end up going your way and making a mess of it, but you go God's ways and God can guide you in the way that you're to live. Proverbs 12, 15 says, Fools think they need no advice. And God says, you actually need my advice to walk my ways. Secondly, how do you get wisdom? Through learning, understanding, gaining knowledge. Proverbs 1, 4, These proverbs will make the simple-minded clever. They will give knowledge and purpose to young people. The knowledge in Proverbs specifically is talking about getting an understanding of God's ways. Um, but I think actually knowledge and learning is great just generally. Um, we need knowledge and uh, understanding. Um, and in New Zealand culture, I think there are areas in New Zealand culture where there's a kind of an anti-learning culture. People put others down if you, you know, Put a curry high, you know, <laughs> the segments of our culture which actually puts learning down. And uh, we need to be encouraging um, people, our young people, to be learning, studying, 